Hey everyone, Greg here from YouTube.com. Now today I'm about to make you a fantastic banana recipe using chocolate and coconut, believe it or not. And we're going to bake it in the oven. It's going to turn out fantastic. Let's get started. This is Greg's Kitchen. So for this, all we're going to need is some bananas, or as they call them in Australia, bananas. Some of that chocolate that melts, you know that stuff? And some coke. I mean some desiccated coconut. That's about an eight balls worth. <laughs> right, well, let's start making this. Okay, first we need to preheat our oven 300 Fahrenheit. <laughs> My oven's set to that ridiculous concept called metrics. And if you've got one of those metric ovens, at 150, you'll be putting that to in centigrades. Okay, all my fans out there, let's make some space. So first thing we need to do, no, I'm not using a handgun in this recipe. I, I've only got a knife. That's what these colonial Australians seem to use, knives. They don't even have guns. What sort of backward country are they? So what we will do is we will slice the banana down the center. Make sure we don't go through the banana all the way. Make sure, okay? And now have a look. It actually creates a space inside. So now into this banana, we place our pieces of chocolate, or as we call it here in the States, Hershey. So now we've chocked these bananas with the chocolate. All we need to do is add just a pinch, only about a teaspoon's worth. I don't know what that is in grams. We don't use that archaic measurement. So now let's grab some aluminum foil, or as they call it in some countries, aluminium. Those crazy wacky Aussies and their unusual sayings. <laughs> so now we just grab our aluminum foil and we are going to wrap this banana. Try and squeeze it down nice and tight and firm. Might want to try and get rid of all this coke, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the coconut. Oh, man. I think this is Kevlar, not aluminum. Oh, boy. Should have used that on the space shuttle. Okay. Now we've got these Star Trek bananas. I'll put them on a tray. And now we just place this in the oven for, let's say, 20 to 25 minutes. We want that skin to go nice and black and cooked all the way through so the chocolate melts. So I'll put the timer for 21 minutes and we'll come back and check. Alrighty, well, the timer just gone off, so, oh, have a look. Oh, you f Oh, wow. Have a look at that. Let's just have a quick look to make sure there's banana peels going all brown and the chocolate's melted. Oh, well, there's steam coming out. Oh, and that chocolate's melted. Oh, and so are my fingers. Now, these bananas are to be served hot, and I can't think of any other way to serve these other than with some ice cream. Oh, yeah. Now, the skin should just fall off this pretty easily. It's still burning hot, so take care. <gasps> Unlike I do. So I might use the push and pull action on that. Oh yeah. Just how good does that look? Well I thought I'd come outside and enjoy this today on this lovely day. So let's tuck on in for the old taste test. Can't wait. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that was uh, really nice. It was with the ice cream, I tell you what, it just, oh, yeah, 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 you know what I mean. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. If you do give it a go, I'd love to know how your turns out. Remember to show this video some thumb and love. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. <laughs>